redesigned 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. What gets me really excited about a car like this and this redesign specifically is the Cruze is a super popular car. I see them all over the roads. Typically, with a more popular model, the manufacturer doesn't update it as much because they don't have to, people really like it. So we see longer life cycles of very minimal updates. So to see what they did with this popular car, it's really cool. And I think people are gonna really like it. I do. I also have a thing for gray though. I don't know why. I have two gray cars, it's kinda my favorite color. Let's take a closer look. I think this new front end looks really sleek. Before it just had a pretty generic look to it. This one really has some character though. Similarly on the back, a lot more character here. A much more aggressive look. I'm a fan. Pretty jazzed about the inside too. First off, they updated the keys to a lot of the vehicles this year. Little bit of chrome around the outside. Feels really nice. Steering wheel has a different look to it. It's a little more slender here in the middle. Dash meters, the nice screen here in the middle. Now this right here, this feels really nice. Polished black look all around the screen. It just feels really good. That same thing continues all down here. And check this out, right there. You see this little sign? That is 100% paying attention to consumer behavior all the time. You always just end up sticking your phone in your cup holder and then you lose out on one of your cup holder spaces when you actually need it. They made a designated phone slot right there. Good call. It's got these squishy right there on the sides. So it kind of presses in there nice and tight. Makes it a lot more difficult for you to reach for your phone while it's going off while you're driving because you shouldn't be doing that anyway, you know, right? Right? Everything you would expect up here, nav, it's got all the, you know, functionality of pairing up with your phone and stuff. Down here, got USB, auxiliary. I really should figure out what these little cigarette lighter things are called. This one is equipped with bows and a sunroof. The back seat never gets enough love. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised with how much room is in this back seat right now. I know that I'm not very tall or anything, but I have tons, tons of room here for my legs. Heated seats back here too. A little flip down armrest slash cup holder thing here if you've only got one or two people sitting in the back seat, but obviously flip it up and you can, that same thing continues all down here. I wonder if there's a politically correct term for the person who has to sit in the middle seat. Yeah, this is really cool. I'll walk around it one more time for you. Look at how pretty it is. This is a premiere. So it's just one of the nicer trim levels. One last thing. I'm a pretty big fan of this font on the gear shift. Okay, that's all. <laughs>